Notion is, first of all, not sponsored. I just love this app. It's an organization calendar planner customizable app that I've used for a couple of months now, and, and I love it. I first heard about it on an artist's YouTube channel, who Apple Juice, I will link down below. Um, and she used it to keep herself organized. And as a writer, I thought that that might be something that I can dig into. So, today's video, I'm going to show you my Notion setup. Okay, so this actually is a different version of my home page. It actually, the real one looks just like this. I just kind of taken out um, some of the more personal information, but for the most part, it just looks like this. This just might not be some of the pages might be less populated than usual. So to start out, I got all these images. I think the header was just from Canva, and then the header images. I think I googled anime background and then brought them into Canva and added the the wording. I'm not sure that I'm completely sold on the uh, the grouping of everything or even what the wording is because some of the stuff does tend to overlap a little bit. I made sure to have my D&D section down here because that is the most important. Yeah, so let's just get into it. The first thing that I do every day is I go into my week, and here we have, oh, so this is my layout. I usually have a quote up here, but I just, it's blank when I made this and I didn't. So yeah, this is, it just goes down Monday through Sunday. Over here I have priorities, so I'm doing Publish and Thrive starting next week. I gotta get ready for that. I have the dentist on Thursday next week. Um, and if I'm waiting on, let's see, I have a phone call. Um, and that I'm waiting on, and maybe I want to clean out closet. So that's something that I'm thinking about. Do I want to do that? Um, so then every week I just go down the line and I put the stuff that I want to do. It's pretty straightforward. Um, the interlopers is one of my D and D groups. Um, so I have that every Monday, or Tuesday rather, but not this week actually, so I can delete that. People are busy. Friday, I can actually add Sarah and then live stream at 4 p.m. Very important that I go there. Those are always the highlight of my week. I can change the color. To purple. So now it's fun going on this week. I have some planner stickers that I don't need anymore that I want to sell and get rid of. This is my habit tracker. I have nine habits that I track every week. Some weeks I do better than others. And then down here is my favorite part. I have not filled this out because this is not my real week, but this is, um, so I'll put like, let's say, the date today, which is eight. Eight, two, and then this task is social media. I'm starting this at five ten, and then I'll put the end. I'll put how long it took me, and then I'll write. And then this grade right here, I wait until the end of the day and I give myself a letter grade for how well I think I did. Um, so I have all of these uh, different categories and tasks of things. And sometimes I'll add another one depending on the week if there's something that I am doing a lot of, I'll add a different one. But those are generally what I'm doing. Whenever a new week happens. I'll put this one uh, in here with the rest, and I'll add a new week. 
and it takes a lot of load and it comes in. Oh, sorry, that took a minute to download or um, create it. Sometimes Notion gets slow. Um, and yeah, this is what a new week looks like. I always keep, uh, plan it to be here on Saturday. Uh, that's usually when I plan my new week. And yeah, this is what a blank week looks like. That's my diary, it's just a calendar, and then I add a in each one. This is my calendar. It's actually, right now, I just use it for writing stuff because all of my personal stuff I sync with uh, my household, just so everybody knows what's going on. So this week, all I have, aside from writing, which I don't need to put on, because I do that every day, is I want my blog post notion to her, um, and then post that, and then, and then Monday, publish and drive start. I'm so excited for this. Like, I can't even tell you. Yeah, so that's be straightforward. You can drag and drop if you want to change things. Right now, I'm not really sure what I'm going to be posting the rest of August. These are left blank. But when I figure it out, I can come in here. Let's say for the 13th, I want to write about starting draft three. that and I just and so I know then that that is what I write for this week and now we're good to go. Uh, Kanban board. So I don't use a physical Kanban board. It's a little hard for me to do the all the sticky notes so I use this. Um, it's super easy. You can drag and drop, add or whatever, add, subtract. So I have my three goals, my author platform, my novel writing, and my healthy habit, which right now is just read more. Yeah, it's pretty simple. I am, uh, it's not scripted, but I'm filming and this is B-roll right now. Cool, I can add that to my to the done list. I can show you my d and setup for those interested. Uh, I just have a roll chart where I'll put the dates that we played, the which character made a roll, what kind of role was it? I have all of the uh, possible roles that they can make. If you know how to do play D and D, you know what this means, what number they rolled, why they rolled it, and what we learned or what happened. And then session notes. I'll add the date, and then I'll just do bullet notes for anything that doesn't have to do with a role. This is just a joke from our strong game. Okay, so let's calendar Kanban. Closest to St. Interlopers is the name of our group from um, uh, Author. Okay, so this is my author page. I have Project Mundane, which is my current work. This is my stuff I want to research. I have to write some fairy tales for it. Uh, this takes me to my Pinterest board. This is my campfire uh, world building book. And this is, um, I just like to see my timeline on when I started certain things. And then these are questions that I have as I'm writing, either from my outline. That's plot. That's another Kanban board. I don't want to show you that. It is heavy book spoilers. It's the book. And then this word count tracker. Because it has the date, the length of the sprint, starting word count, how many I added, how many words total. And then if I want to just write, like, oh, that was really good. Or I worked through you know, a block, or I figured something out, add that there. I haven't done this yet because this is, I just started this with this current draft, and I haven't really done any sprints. Yeah, this will all go here. Author expenses, this is just a table that helps me keep track of if I've bought artwork or a program or publish and thrive I put in here, uh, just to help me keep track of what I've spent. Blog ideas, uh, these are ideas for blogs. Okay, YouTube, uh, video ideas, this, I, that, Notion Tour, I'm showing it right now, this will probably be next week, uh, notes with the, oh. if you click on the emoji right here, you can change it, you can upload an image, or link an image, that's super cool, that's basically it, it's a pretty simple setup, still a work in progress, it's a really basic setup, some of the more complicated setups that I have seen on like Pinterest or YouTube videos, they're cool, but they're too much. All right, guys, so that is it. That is how I have my Notion set up. It took a bit to figure everything out. Uh, there's definitely a learning curve, but there are plenty of videos here on YouTube from authors and entrepreneurs and artists, students, 
anybody under the sun and easy to find other people's videos and setups. So yeah, like this video if you enjoyed it. I'd love to have you subscribe. I don't really know what my YouTube upload schedule is going to be yet. I'm still trying to figure everything out. But yeah, hopefully I'll have a video out again next week.